Hello everybody, I gotta say that I don't really have much experience on making drinks, but I really, really wanted to try this out. Yes, I know, I always say that in every video I make, but it is true. So yeah, as the title says, and as you're about to see, I present you... Exactly. No! No! Pain. First, I am going to start with two prerequisite recipes for both the estus and the ashen flask. For the estus, I am going to make some homemade meat. We start by adding some water into a pot along with honey. After mixing it well, add the spices, cinnamon, and star anise for this occasion. And finally, some freshly squeezed orange juice. Leave it to simmer for a few minutes and then turn the heat off. Let it cool until it gets warm. For the ashen flask, we are going to make some custard paste for an ice cream. Mix some heavy cream with whole milk in a pot and leave it with the heat until it gets hot and steamy. In another bowl, add the sugar and the egg yolks. By the way, don't discard the egg whites since we are going to use them for later. Anyway, mix them until it gets soft and kinda of fluffy. Integrate it with the cream and milk mix and put them back into the pot at low heat. Now gently stir the custard, and as soon as you feel it thickening, take it out of the heat, pass it through a strainer into a bowl and let it cool with some plastic rag on top. The foil must keep contact with the surface to prevent humidity loss and condensation. Now, back to the meat, which isn't meat yet. Add some baking yeast into the mixture and stir it until it gets integrated. There is a yeast especially used for meat, but baking yeast also works just fine. Alright, this is important. Do not seal the recipient with the meat unless you want to have a homemade meat bomb. Alright, since this is a fermentation process, we need a way to keep the oxygen out while also making a wave out for the gas that is produced by the now active yeast. Some people use an airlock, but since I am extremely lazy, I am going to use a balloon with a very small hole in the other side instead. It works just as good. Now, back to the ice cream. Just pour your cold custard into an ice cream maker, and if you don't have one, you can use the recipe I have on my sea salt ice cream video. Of course, minus the white chocolate and the food coloring. And after around half an hour, the custard base should become ice cream with around 30% more volume. And I just leave it to freeze until we need it. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Ah yes, the Esther soup. I have seen so many similar recipes out there, but I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. First, you need to soak the cow bones on water, because that will wash off the major part of impurities. Now, the rest of the ingredients for the soup include tomato, carrots, yellow pumpkin, white onion, and a lick for now. First cut the white onion in half and put it in a hot pot without any kind of fat, so it gets almost burnish, golden brownish, yeah. And add some black pepper too. Next, chop all the vegetables in small pieces and add a bit of yellow curry. Yeah, believe me, the result is pretty good. And then put the remaining ingredients into the pot, the bones, the rest of the veggies and of course the water. Now let it to boil for at least one hour, then let it cool until it reaches room temperature. Finally, place it in a fridge for around two hours, so the fat solidifies and then we can properly strain it. Our bouillon is done. Yes, bouillon. Bouillon. But we need to clarify it. That means turning it into a consommé. Consommé. And for that, just chop some more of the same vegetables into smaller pieces. In this case, carrots, yellow pumpkin, white onion and why not, some green onion too. Okay, remember the egg whites? Well, we are going to whisk them until they get into a soft peak point and then we carefully mix it with the rest of the chopped veggies and put it into the boiling bouillon pot. Then leave it around 15 minutes at the minimum heat. Well, after that time we strain it again into a separate bowl and there we have it, a flavorful Crystal clear-ish golden consomme. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> At last, two weeks has passed and the meat is mature enough to consume. And the ice cream is, well, still there and frozen. Okay, to prepare the Estos Flax, we are also going to use pineapple and passion fruit juice. 
Just cut the pineapple into pieces and blend it together with the passion fruit pulp. Pass it to a strainer and leave it in the fridge until we need it. Time for the drinks. The Estos flask will contain pineapple and passion fruit juice, semi-dry meat and brandy. The result is a fresh, fruity flavor at the start and spiced honey alcoholic flavor at the end. Not too sweet, not too dry. The Asian flask, on the other hand, will have some blue curacao, coconut cream, our homemade ice cream, and finally some vodka. Uh, the ice cream took way more time to melt than I thought, so I had to mix it the old fashioned way. The result on this one is strong tropical citrus and coconut alcoholic flavor at the start, and it starts fading into the creaminess, soft dairy flavor of the ice cream at the end. I like this one a lot. Anyways, here they are. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe, like the video, share, and of course, to leave a comment. Until next time. By the way, I wanted to make this cocktail to have a flame on top, but I couldn't, so here. Thank you, Sony Vegas. Advertise me.